Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Welcome back to the channel today. We're doing a different video than I primarily do, but if you've been a long time subscriber of the channel, you know that I love daily carry items. And behind many, many gear enthusiasts, particularly outdoor gear enthusiasts, is a person that loves daily carry items like firearms, knives, flashlights, that kind of stuff. We're gonna talk about daily carry stuff today because it's been a while since I've done a daily carry video and I like to update as things kind of change and whatnot with my daily carry system. And I've got some new items to share with you that have been integrated into just my everyday life. And so we're gonna talk about it, but it's 2020. So I've got one of the most unique everyday carry wearable items that I use every single day and that's what's on my face for work. I am required to wear a face mask for the job that I work. We're in a public building. We have people coming in and out all the time and we require face masks. So never in my life <laughs> did I think that I would be, and you can't even see me talking. I'll take it off here in a second. But never in my life did I think that I would be wearing a mask every single day and uh, whatever your opinion is on that, that is your opinion, but uh, for my work situation and being out in public, mask is an important part of everyday life here in 2020. So yes, it is part of my daily carry system. And this is a really cool mask that I got from uh, Cotopaxi. It was about like 10, $13, something like that. So a little bit of money, but if I'm gonna be wearing this all the time, I want something that is gonna be comfortable and nice to wear. It's got the metal piece here in the front. Cool colors, just a good looking mask. So that's the most unique and different daily carry item that I have used ever, <laughs> probably. So let's move through some of the items that may be less likely for me to carry as a true daily carry item. One of the things that has changed the most for me is the frequency that I carry a flashlight now. I really don't carry a flashlight very often anymore. In fact, I don't honestly remember the last time since the last time I did a daily carry update video, which was about nine months or so ago. And normally when I do carry a flashlight, it's this Phoenix PD25, but to be quite honest, guys, I've simplified my system and I'm not carrying a flashlight every single day like I used to. But when I do, the Phoenix PD25 is my go-to. I really do love this flashlight, the form factor and everything about it. It's just a fantastic light. Now I've added a new blade, a new knife to my everyday carry setup. And you might be wondering, okay, I know the Benchmade Mini bug out, but isn't it normally white or orange? Yeah, it is. But what I did is I took some Rit dye to the white scales on this and I dyed the scales this cool red color. So what is it about the Benchmade Mini Bug Out that makes it a great everyday carry or daily carry item? For me, it is the form factor. It is the size of the blade, how well it sits in your pocket, all of those things. It is a fantastic everyday carry item. So this is fairly new to the Benchmade lineup and they released this uh, earlier last year, sometime around there, and it is the mini version of the standard bug out. So it's basically the same construction, just shrunk down, same blade shape within reason. You've got the deep carry pocket clip and the shape of the scales is the same as well. It's just shrunk down. And for me, in my hands and just what I do on a daily basis, a lot of cutting open boxes and that kind of thing, it is a wonderful, wonderful blade, and I'm really, really happy with it. I've just enjoyed the Benchmade products so much. I love the access lock. This has easily become my absolute favorite daily carry blade, and for outdoor use as well, backpacking, camping, all of that. It really cuts into a piece of cheese. So nice, so nice. The next item that has changed as well is just a personal item that I sewed myself and that was just a very minimalist style wallet that I made out of Dyneema that's got some pull tabs for the zipper and then a uh, watertight zipper on there. This is pretty standard, just carry the cards, that's all it needs to do. But that is uh, the wallet that I'm carrying. 
my watch. You guys got to see this. Oh my gosh. Look at that watch tan line. <laughs> it's amazing. But I am still carrying, uh, since my last update, every day I wear the Sunto 9 Baro watch. I love this watch. And no, it is not the most impressive for daily notifications that you get through your phone and daily life, but the ability to have an altimeter, a barometer in here and to just get elevation change, be able to track through GPS, all of that for the backpacking and hiking that I do really makes this a simple uh, watch for those outdoor activities, but is a super smart, sophisticated, really well put together uh, piece of equipment. And I'm really, really excited about how it continues to perform super well. The only problem that I have is the silicone band that came with it. This is not the original band. This is from uh, Barton watch bands, but it fell apart basically. Uh, and that's my biggest issue with the watch. I would imagine that if I'm paying $500 or so for a watch that the band would be a little bit well or better put together than it was. So now a few more items here to, to discuss. I am still carrying every day the iPhone 11 Pro Max and no particular reason other than I like having the most up-to-date uh, type of technology. I really love the iPhone and I've been an iPhone user since the iPhone 4. So really, really enjoyed the iPhone 11. The video quality on it is amazing. It's just great. It's just a great uh, phone for uh, somebody like me as a YouTuber that takes a lot of pictures, video, that kind of stuff, and I really like it. Okay, let's talk about my belt situation for everyday carry. And yes, I am sitting today because I don't want, without having my belt on, for my pants to fall off or I'm, while I'm filming a video. So the belt for the last several years, in fact, that I've been carrying, it's probably three, close to four years now that I have been using the Blue Alpha Gear belts. This is a prototype belt that I've been wearing and providing feedback for them for a long time. It's got a different style buckle than the standard uh, Blue Alpha Gear buckles, but the overall like concept and design is basically the same, but this is a single layer nylon belt. And this is enough for uh, rigidity in a belt that it works to carry my Glock 42 as my everyday carry firearm. But I have noticed some things about these belts as simple and awesome as they are, they don't allow for a lot of good, quick adjustability. Sure, you do have this Velcro here on the side that does allow for adjustment, but because you wear this in the same position pretty much all the time, it doesn't really matter where you change that to. It likes to fall back into where the nylon has developed a memory and it makes it difficult to have little subtle adjustments for different pant sizes, different sized firearms that are wider or more narrow than another. So I have added a different belt or an additional belt into my everyday carry system, depending on various types of situations. This is the Core Essentials X5 belt. Now this is also a nylon belt like the blue alpha gear but it has a ton of rigidity you can see that it is going to be able to carry and handle a lot of weight when you're carrying a firearm and maybe an extra magazine for your firearm or whatever other kinds of things you might be carrying on your belt this is also something that uh, would just work really well as a utility belt if you're somebody that works outside and you've got a lot of tools hanging off of you and you are clipping various tools onto your belt, this would be a great option for that as well. But it's a tactical style belt that's got a very robust type of uh, buckle on it. And their system to basically fit this to yourself is awesome as well. So you've got, let me just undo this. I'm going to show you how the buckle works. But when you get the belt, it's going to be a really, really long belt. And then you're going to cut it down to the size that you need. And there's instructions and everything for it. But you undo these screw heads right here. You pop this open and then you cut the belt to the size. You slide this back into the buckle.
clamp it down, screw these down, and it holds more securely the belt uh, piece in place. And then the only moving parts that you have on the belt is this little piece right here. And what this is, is a ratchet system. If you see here on the inside of the belt, you've got this piece that is basically a type of ratchet. So when you slide the belt in, hopefully you can hear this, it's going to ratchet and lock itself in place. So I can pull on this as hard as I want, but the best thing and the reason that I picked this up is it allows for micro adjustments for if I've got a smaller or bigger firearm, then I'm able to adjust this really easy. So I can go incremental adjustments or I just push this little tab right here that allows that to release from the ratchets and then I can slide that in. So it's a really cool, robust, just awesome design. Mission Belts also has a pretty similar concept for their system as well. So it's cool to see other companies that are kind of incorporating this into a tactical type of situation. But I've really enjoyed the Core Essentials X5. It's a little bit more rigid than I'm used to with having worn this single layer nylon belt for so uh, many days and, and years at this point but I really do enjoy this. So the Core Essentials X5 belt. So there you go, guys. That, uh, that's my 2020 pandemic. Let's put my mask back on so I am officially uh, properly dressed here in 2020. So there you go. That's my daily carry system and update for 2020. I really appreciate you guys watching today. A little bit different video. I know that it's not necessarily backpacking focused, but I know you guys enjoy seeing these things and uh, would love your comments. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe. Hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll catch you in the next video. See you later.